Fantastic Four is a beat-em-up action-adventure video game by American developer Seven Studios based on the 2005 Fantastic Four film. Players play as the characters of the Marvel Comics superhero team Fantastic Four using combos and special attacks to fight their way through hordes of enemies and bosses. Johan Griffith, Jessica Alba, Michael Chiklis, Chris Evans and Julian McMahon reprise their roles for the game. The Nintendo DS version was planned, but was cancelled. Gameplay The Fantastic Four is an internationally renowned group of superhuman champions. Each of the characters has a special ability. Mr. Fantastic has the ability to shift his body or portions of same into a super malleable state, enabling him to stretch, contract, deform, expand, elongate, compress or otherwise reshape his physical form at his will. Invisible Woman possesses the ability to bend light and ultimately become invisible wholly or partially at will. She also has telekinetic powers and the ability to project force energy from her body. The Human Torch can manipulate fire. He usually allows his entire body to be engulfed in flames considering his body can sustain the highest levels of heat. Another ability of his is flight, which players can use in the game. The thing is incredibly strong and has an exterior stronger than diamonds. Ben Grimm can carry heavy objects with ease, as players will find out while playing as this character. The game includes a number of villains and characters not featured in the movie, many of whom are based on their Ultimate Universe versions like the Yancey Street Gang, Nick Fury, Mole Man, Diablo, Puppet Master, Dragon Man, Blastar, and Anna Hylas. Topic. Plot The game begins with Reed, Sue, and Johnny on a roof lying helpless after being knocked unconscious by a blast from Doctor Doom. Sue is the first to recover, so when she sits up and turns around, Doctor Doom is preparing to fire an electric blast at them. Sue holds it off with her force field and calls Ben Grimm for help. Then it cuts away to Ben, who is recovering in the transformation chamber after having his rock-like exterior genetically removed from him. As he contemplates why the circumstances have led to this, he remembers the period when all of this happens. This is when it reverts to the beginning of the movie, Reed signs the pact, they go into space, and Ben gets the samples ready. In space, they are hit by a cosmic storm which alters their DNA and gives them superpowers. If it hadn't been for Victor, they might never have arrived back to Earth and into his medical compound, where they recovered. When Ben discovers that he has become a monster-like figure, he deserts the other three and heads home. Ben runs on a rampage to try to calm himself. This brings the army to New York under the control of a deep, dark, sinister figure who is yet to be revealed and they try to get Ben under control. However, after Ben and the other three rescue a fire truck from falling off the Brooklyn Bridge, the forces lay off and watch the Fantastic Four to see if they become hostile. Reed attempts to find another power source, but is interrupted by a call for help. It seems that strange creatures have invaded Grand Central Station and the police seem to have no effect against them. The Fantastic Four stop the creatures from invading the city and face their leader, the Mole Man and his mighty pet. Because of the utter destruction caused by their fight with this giant monster, the city is in a mess and Victor blames Reed for all this mess. With Ben in hand, Reed sets out to identify their mutation and possibly cure them of it. He constructs a machine with Victor's help which will use cosmic rays to reverse the signal being sent through their bodies by the mutation. He then turns to sources to power this machine and identifies a cosmic meteor that landed in the jungle of southern Mexico. They travel to Tikal to retrieve this meteor when they encounter Diablo, who desires to have this meteor so he can harness its power to conquer the world. The Fantastic Four defeat him and bring the meteor back, but its power is insufficient to power the machine. Later, Victor invites Sue to the opening of his Egyptian wing in the museum that night. While they are there, Alicia Masters is kidnapped by the mummy creatures who have come to life by the puppet master, which throws Ben into an outrage. Reed intends to disable the security system to free her, but they have to deal with animated mummies and dinosaurs. They free Alicia but end up destroying half the museum while repelling the reanimated creatures, which infuriates Victor to no end. In his last attempt to alleviate his anger towards them, he has a conversation with Sue in which he attempts to find out why she continues to stay with Reed. 
She says she can't abandon them because they're her family now, which prompts Victor to send Doombots after them to destroy them after they finish their meeting. The four have a massive battle in Times Square, which they nearly demolish with the help of the VDI mechs, prompting the mysterious figure, aka Nick Fury, to take them to the vault prison for their safekeeping. They arrive there and are quarantined until Dragon Man decides to break out and cause utter chaos. The Fantastic Faw's security systems are deactivated and they try to restore order. They are successful in their mission so when they reach the entrance at the top of the prison, they encounter Fury who agrees to release them on one condition, that they find out what happened to his laboratory. Upon their arrival, Reed surmises that something has affected the organic molecules and changed them to its preference. This creature, known as Anahylus finds him and Ben and they defeat him and neutralize the transformation of the lab. It is at the conclusion of this mission that the Fantastic Four obtain a shuttle from Nick in order to travel to the space station where they were transformed. When they arrive, they discover it has been taken over by mutated plants and insectoid creatures and they must destroy the station after obtaining the power source they need to finish powering Reed's transformation chamber. This proves to be successful and the machine is powered up to its maximum. With this knowledge, Victor travels to the Baxter building with the intent to defeat the Fantastic Four. He sets Reed's security systems against them and lures Ben to the transformation chamber where he steals his power. The remaining three fight against an enhanced Doctor Doom but his power is too great and they are defeated. Ben, however, feels terrible for leaving his friends just because he wanted to look normal again, so he decides to re-enter the transformation chamber and turn back into the thing. Doctor Doom is about to destroy them when Ben busts out onto the roof and savagely attacks him, allowing his teammates to recover. They fall to the street and the other three join them there to finish Doom once and for all. Reception Reviews of the game were mixed. GameRankings gave it a score of 62.18% for the PlayStation 2 version, 61.50% for the Xbox version, 65.02% for the GameCube version, 64.35% for the PC version, and 55.50% for the Game Boy Advance version. Likewise, Metacritic gave it a score of 64 out of 100 for the PS2 version, 62 out of 100 for the Xbox version, 61 out of 100 for the GameCube version, 63 out of 100 for the PC version, and 57 out of 100 for the GBA version. GamesRadar ranked it as the 45th worst game ever made. They criticized it for its poor use of the license and boring gameplay. Topic. Music The game is notable for having four bands record brand new songs to be used as the themes for the characters. The bands who contributed songs and who their song was for are Taking Back Sunday Error Operator Mr. Fantastic Go Betty Go Everywhere Invisible Woman The Explosion I'm on Fire Human Torch Jurassic 5. Clobber and Time. The Thing Taking Back Sunday's Error Operator was also the only song originally composed for the game to appear on the film's soundtrack. It also appears in the film during the scene where the thing goes into a bar. The song was reworked for the band's 2006 album Louder Now. In the game an instrumental version is used. 